Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, welcome to the Value Village in Ancaster, Ontario, part of Hamilton. Uh, this is a tour by the Hawaiian Shirt Papa, and uh, shortly we start. You come in and there's a huge area of, of clothing, mostly women's in, the, in this store. It's a, a very new store, it was a new build. It's not an old building that they've taken over. The men's is at the far side again. Oh, actually beyond here, this is all women's at this point. Just giving you a tour of what's there and here we're in the kitchen goods in the bags and in these we've occasionally found some real treasures uh, they may not have realized what some of them were but we found some treasures not saying only at this location but I think this was one of the locations where we found uh, I think they're Itala, um candle holders and into the glassware and stemware. You can see across the store. And here we continue in with the ceramic mugs and plates. So here we just get an overview of this. Ah, here we are looking at what they call boxes, but this was a bit unusual. So I had to investigate for $2.99 didn't get it but I did want to know what it was originally and uh, yeah it was kind of cool and along the one section they've got their uh, framed prints maybe some paintings but I didn't see any this time some more of the framed images At the end there ah oh. Here we are, we're looking at some some of the vases in this case. Some folks say vases, I'm not sure why, where the difference is. One I think is more of a French or origin word and the other one's anglicized. Ah yes, a cup and saucer. A small cup and saucer, they're made in occupied Japan, which puts it into a very narrow date range. Yes, I did pick it up. It should show up on Instagram soon enough and we're looking at these other containers and such that they have along here oh yes these there's a, there's four two candle candle holders there's two pairs they're not the same they kind of are similar enough um, Westwood Avenue had seen them, but was not interested in having any more. I think she either had them or she, it wasn't a pattern she already had, so she wasn't interested in getting any more, more patterns at this point. So, yes, sometimes there are some larger paintings, as they call them. We're about to get up to the front counter. Before that you see this little statuary and stuff and this center rack on the right here is in the center there that's costume jewelry there's some sunglasses in the first one the back they've got items that they've deemed to be of higher value so they're now on the floor they're out back here so you have to ask for them 
watches of all sorts, some costume jewelry at the bottom, another costume jewelry at the top, and other things that they felt that were of high enough value that they wanted to keep them in the back. There's a bunch of purses. I'm not heavily into purses, but uh, if somebody's looking for them, they probably charge a bit too much. So, some more of this jewelry here. There are multiple levels. You have to ask for them. They'll bring them up to you. As you can see, some interesting things. Uh, not all of higher value to us. And here we go. We're looking at the first little counter right at the front entrance. It's more electronics in this case, um, not exclusively, but tends towards that. Sometimes they have some unrealistic valuations of items. Uh, sometimes they're not so bad. So. Here we're going to go into just near there. There's, I, I say, did the end end caps as they're referred to on these on the aisles i did them as a separate piece i did the aisles already um, maybe not all of them yet but they will be coming up these are the end caps sometimes there's interesting things nothing caught the magpie eye this time so purples in this case All the way up to the hot pink Ooh. with the yellow in some areas there small appliances but because that's more or less what there is behind there this little st stainless steel tray is of the mid-century style may not be it may be from there but there's no specific distinguishing marks on it and here we have the small kitchen appliances. As always, if you're looking for a carafe for one of your coffee makers, say you broke one, it's a good place to check. The fry pans have become too expensive here generally. And the toys are all, small toys are in bags. And then they have some book, the whole section of books and on the way to there, you'll also see DVDs and LPs. So some more of the books. Board games on the right. Books are grouped somewhat by topic. Not badly grouped in general. Seem to be a little overpriced in most cases. Main, mind you, they're based on the original prices assigned in each of the stores. Once they're over a certain amount, they're five dollars for a book, which is, I don't know, seems a bit much. And then the stuffies, stuffed toys, and opposite that, there tends to be young adult, child, kit chapter books, and and young people's books in general. Uh, the CDRW, it doesn't make sense because there's a whole different part of the store where that belongs generally. We'll see that a bit later on. Uh, all kinds of different things there. The women's clothes is all the way across, right beside all these aisles of hard goods. Yes, they had fry pans, again, way overpriced, especially when for what they are. Not sure what that empty package was for, but it's empty, so it's kind of useless. Unless somebody has the exact thing that belongs in it. Of course, you can always repurpose it to something else, but I don't know if it had a price that would have been reasonable for what it was. And here we are, we're going through... And this is, the, this is the 
men's and I, uh, yep the men's side of the store uh, before we get to that we have linens comforters on the left side we have uh, some some women's coats if I remember right this is, doesn't help me much but that's okay purses are here and there's their usual collection of wires that are taken from things that need the wires and so you have to play mix and match and find the right one I looked at this bag a little more closely it's a marvel uh, the price was a bit on the higher end so I wasn't sure I think there were some condition issues as well so I had a closer look at it off camera no it stayed there it was a good prospect but it didn't work out scarves and hats and toques and then we start to finally get into the really into the men's clothing I'm looking for Hawaiian shirts remember and I think I may have seen one or two if you want to consider that it would be probably a business shirt in Hawaii probably not though uh, it's bright I'll give you that and another one that potentially could be a business shirt in Hawaii but most likely not it's still too, too demure probably great for a golf shirt or, or just some casual shirt and no that wasn't one either ah here we go this would definitely be a, a business type shirt in Hawaii but this was one of the big brand names here I think it might have been a George and they still want an atrocious amount for it and this one would also be probably a casual Hawaiian business shirt we took a look at some coats in here and uh, I think I did get myself a a warm leather coat from here I didn't catch that it had an issue with a uh, small tear by the pocket but I have uh, one of my folks who partners with me who did a nice repair on it. it's not noticeable into the electronics which are right at the front of the store this is where the DV, the RW DVD should have been they usually I don't know why they even bother putting those cases up they've got a case nothing of value in it unless somebody really needs a case but then you can get a good case in a shop for a pretty good price testing area for appliances some suitcases I wouldn't get any they could have things that you don't want in them and this interesting piece of uh, wall art wrong colors for me and us and a battery I can't figure out batteries anyway I hope you can consider subscribing to the channel and um, clicking on the bell so you get notifications okay thanks